Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Let's Open Some Packs. Uh, today I'm doing, um, let's see, we're doing this. And I have a hot take. Uh, ooh, I should probably put them in like, some kind of order. Uh, oh, before we get started, there's a giveaway going on right now for this deck. Um, the Avengers Doctor Strange deck, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, and this one's a PVC one. Um, the, there's a, uh, there'll be a link down in the description uh, how, how you can enter. There's like a week left or so. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, I have a hot take. Um, that was kind of loud. Mike landed right on my phone. I have a really hot take for you today. Um, I think Make Playing Cards. So this is the fluorescent line by MakePlayingCards.com. Uh, That's the name of the company. MakePlayingCards.com. MPC. And I think they're probably one of the most important uh, playing card companies right now. I, hold on. Before you freak out, listen to what I have to say. Um, <laughs> let's see. Wait. If you go to Kickstarter, uh, and I'm not going to open the decks right away if you want to skip ahead or you want to hear this. Because I think it's important uh, that it gets acknowledged, I guess, maybe. Or maybe people talk about it and I just don't hear it. I don't hang out with too many people. Uh, but I think... They're one of the most important uh, card companies because they, um, they, if you go to Kickstarter and you look at all the decks that are being Kickstarted, that have been Kickstarted and are being Kickstarted and are like in the middle and are going to be and every, every single one of those decks probably, almost every single one, I'm going to say it's probably 95% of them are made by MakePlayingCards.com. In fact, I did mine there. I'll show you mine. So these are two prototypes that I did. Um, and, uh, and you know what, before I show you this, I'm going to, I'm going to post the settings that I used. So if you want to make your own custom deck, uh, if you go there, so the picture should be up now, you can pause it, write it down, copy it, whatever you want. Uh, this is what I used. So this is what, what you're looking at now. So this is the yellow version of uh, the, the faces. I just did some quick, uh, I'm not going to do these. Um, it won't be this. That's kind of cool though. I kind of like that, actually. Anyways, but it's not going to be this uh, for this deck when I do this yellow one. Uh, and the cards feel fantastic, and they actually fan. Not so bad. Um, anyways, so this is the... the I believe it's M31. Oh, my goodness. I totally forgot. But, yeah, so these are M30. You have to have a, mil a minimum of 1,000 to do the M30 stock. Um yeah, and I, I just did like a couple of each just to try them out, like break them in, see what they're like, see what they look like. Uh, this is the this is the one I'm probably going to do for the next one. And they feel really good. Like, look at that dribble. So this is this is a single one. And what I'm trying to say is that I would print this. Uh, this is not what the faces are going to be, either, in case you're wondering. I would print this deck, um, and I would take pictures with it or something. Like, I have pictures of this deck. Like, I'll post them. Look at these pictures. Like that's that's pretty cool, right? And and then what people do is then they kickstart and then they go to like Cardamundi, Taiwan. Uh, and I have a bunch of decks actually by them, by these people. Um, pro tip, use your uh, Pokemon um, trainer to hold, this is what I do. I should show you all my collection sometime. Anyway, so this is a, a box I have set aside that has different, different um, card stock stuff. So like, not that one. I'll show you that one sometime. The, like this Fontaine is uh, Taiwan, Copag, Slimline, you know, there's bikes that are, this is the Elite Edition. Uh, anyways, and w if we have to, we'll go there, but one of the ones I wanted to test it against was this, the M30 stock. This is the, uh, this is also made in China. Excuse me. Um, very professional here. <laughs> I'm getting texts. Getting texts, people care. Anyway, so, um, yeah, so this is, I want to see what these, this this is my favorite one, by the way. Of all the copperheads, this one feels the best, if you want to know, this color. Um, but yeah, we'll get to these in a bit if we have to. I'm not sure if we're going to need to. Um, yeah, and I'll stop blabbing, and I will, I'll put these away. So this is, I'm going to do more prototypes. And I'm probably going to do, actually, a, a, a full run from Make Playing Cards, because they're so easy to order from. Uh, you don't have to order... You know, a minimum of a thousand decks because it's really expensive. But man, it's worth it from other companies. Like they have, other companies have really good stock. Um, so I want to try this M30. But like I said, this is a minimum of a thousand as well. Uh, and they just added M28, M29, I believe. Um, which I don't know what those feel like. So 
I might do some more prototypes in those if they work out and then do like a do a run with them. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I'm exploring. So let's check this out. All right, so they got to see. You know what? I'm going to take all the soap fan. Should I do it? Oh. This is good, though. It, like, protects it. Uh, let's leave you on for... Uh, this is where I... Oh, look at the seal. Let's look at the seal. I get really nervous about that because if I'm going to break these in, I I need the, the cellophane for my clip. So you want to have a clip. So this is a deck I'm... I don't know how broken this one is. I put stickers on them to know what I'm, what I'm doing. Uh, but yeah, this is a USB-C. This is mine. Um, which I'm going to start selling again, actually. So if you're interested... Keep a lookout. I'm going to start selling it, I think, next month. Anyways, this is not about me. It's about this one. Um, so this, so what I do is I keep the cellophane on because when I put it in the clip, and pe or I'll like start up here, you know, and then put it in. And clips are good. Get a clip, put it in. There's people out there that say they're not good. I disagree with them. I think these are really good because you put them in and then you put them in your pocket. Now I'm blabbing like crazy. I'm sorry. But anyways, I like that's why I like to keep the cellophane on. So this is the the this is the one that caught my eye. This like yellow green fluorescent. Uh you can't even see it there. Like I can't even see it. It's so bright. Um but yeah, let's get going. Anyway, so M30 is that this this one. So this is their best one. And they just did a Kickstarter where they printed it. Whoa, this is so hot, yo. Holy, that is fluorescent. If anything, you can't see it. <laughs> like, it's just like glowing. So this is their ad card. Here's their ace. Man, I wish I had a black light. Oh, I gotta get a black light. I should have got a black light for this video. I keep saying that. So you get one ad card, you get two jokers. My goodness, this is so bright. Wow, okay, so this, yeah, this feels amazing. I used to have a friend that had a black light, and we used to just like look at posters. He had posters in his room, and we would just sit there and, and like one of those lava lamps. Okay, that's where you feel the difference, right there. Yeah, that spring, you could totally tell. Let's see what the ferrule. Not too bad on the ferrule. And I can tell that these are made by the same paper people. Like they, the 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 ones I have my prototypes are, are way thicker. These are like thin crushed, um, but really easy to grab. Like the, the edges are really so. My goodness, they're so bright. Like I can't even look down at them. I have to look at the camera. <laughs> they're so freaking bright. Um, yeah. Okay. So then I I I was thinking I I would have to do like a lot of uh, touch and feel tests. Let's try these out real quick. Copperheads are liked by a lot of people, by the way. They like these. Yeah, these feel kind of similar. These are softer though, much softer. Um, and the reason I want to test these out because it's the same region, you know, China. Um, and I think, I, mean, I think that matters. Like the trees, I don't know, like something. The glue they use. Um, yeah, Taiwan cards tend to feel kind of similar. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the pharaoh is a little weird there, if you can't tell. That wasn't me. I'm just kidding. It wasn't me. Trying to blame the cards. Uh, okay, so let's do the next ones. This is really bright, by the way. If you're wondering how bright these are, if you're on the fence on getting some, they're brighter than white. So, like, they're glowing. Man, I should have got a black light. Y'all can say something about that. Like, why didn't you get a black light, dude? I'd be like, you're right. You're right. Yeah, so I think this company is one of the most important companies because of that. Because they they make... Uh, these are really slippery. I'm going to say I actually like the thicker ones better that I got. No, nah, that's not true. They have a very weird, smooth finish. Now I want to know what the M28 and M29 feel like. Are they thinner? What is it? Um, let's do this. Oh, we didn't look at the quartz. Sorry, I went to... Ooh, that's cool. Can y'all see? Can y'all even see that? Look at that. I don't need a black light. <laughs> Yo, they're glowing. Like, you can't even see it. Like, look at that. My camera's like, what are you... My eyes are doing the same thing. <laughs> you think it's like the camera? No, dude. 
Well, your eyes are to take. It takes like a second. Like I, I want to talk to you about the the the, the stuff. <laughs> you can barely see it because it's like radioactive. Radioactive. You know that song. Anyways, um, so yeah, so this. Ooh. Okay, maybe we could do the aces. That's a two. Did they only give me one ace? It's a trick deck. Look at that. You see how like even the camera's like what? I, it, it, the camera is like using all the energy. <laughs> Look at that. That's pretty crazy. Man, these are really trippy aces. Man, my eyes strain. Um, let's do this one. Whoa. Yeah, so that's my hot take. MPC is one of the most important playing card companies of this era. Uh, and like I said, go to Kickstarter and you're going to see all these photographs. Like, help me print my deck. MPC already helped you play, print your deck. <laughs> oh, ooh, these, I like this color. Like, yellow is my favorite. Ooh, look at that. You could see this one. Yellow is my favorite color, by the way. Not that y'all care. Man, you could really see it there. Look at how clear that's coming in. Now I know what they are. I, I was like, I don't know what they are in the other one. <laughs> it's like, what the heck's going on? Um, back design. You can actually see the back design there. Uh, and I haven't checked. I went to their website to see if I could buy, like, and they used to be easier to find. Um, but I couldn't find the, uh, I couldn't find the, they, um, they would sell other cards. They have like a community one where you could sell your cards if you mix them with them. Um, but man, you could really see these, right? This is their custom. So you can, you, if you don't want to do, um, like if you don't want to do custom faces or whatever, you could actually use their their stuff yeah they'll let you use it so you could just like oh i just want to do the back design and then you go to their website you could just do that um for prototypes people usually do because they're usually going to print with like they're going to print 2500 decks with uh, united states playing card company which is really good paper by the way really good like the best probably in my opinion that's why carter mundi was like give it and they bought him up because it's good dude I mean, Carter Mundi's good too. Their slimline, this one, um, this one here, the B9, true linen finish. Uh, this is really good stuff. I think I did a video once with these, and I was doing the, uh, I did plastic playing cards, and I was like, oh, these feel weird because they do when you go from plastic to yeah. So these are pretty good, really soft. Too. Um, and that's why I like having this around this thing here because I'll, I'll be I'll be testing something out and I wonder if, man these 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 actually feel a little better than these even though they're the same they're the same paper and 30 um, M30 the orange one so far oh this one actually does feel better I wonder if it's the inks on that inks actually matter you know they really do. They affect the like. There's like subtle. Yeah, these are these feel much better. Even the finish, and the. And I have a theory. Like if you live in like a very humid area, or you uh, you leave them in the mailbox too long, um, they will um, they will affect. They will get affected. That's my theory. If if I'm wrong, let me know, because <laughs> I think that actually matters. Uh, they're a little slippery for me right now. I'd have to... And I will admit it. And, oh, did we do the quartz on this one already? Yeah, we did. So I'm still like, I think, man, these feel much better. So this one feels better than that one, in case if you're wondering. Uh, and I think this one was first. Then I think it was this one. And then I think it was this one. I think. There's three. And then they recently did one where they even did, like, gilding that's fluorescent, which looks really cool. They didn't make that many decks. It was like 300 decks or something. Um, very, uh, sorry, I'm getting all chatty and parched. Uh, I have a feeling we're going to be able to see this one pretty well, too. Made in China, yo. 
All right, here we go. But yeah, so make makeplayingcards.com. And I already posted the stuff, so if you want to make your own deck, you can go there and check it out. Uh, it's a really interesting process making a deck that way. They have a really good system. By the way, this video is not sponsored or anything. Um, I just I think they're really good for the community. Because, like, dude, go to Kickstarter. All those cards. I know I can't. Okay, we get it, dude. Shut up. It's like, yeah. No, I'm I'm because I'm trying to like <laughs> like it's so cool that there's a place that people could print their own playing cards in a relative relatively easy manner. They're good enough, and I would say good enough in a positive way, like they're great. Uh and you could use them in photographs and, and they look phenomenal. Come on, props. Give a like, subscribe for MPC, yo. All right, so look, man, this one looks good too. The color on that is like really crisp. Yeah, that's good. Am I going too fast for y'all? It's the same designs as the last one, I think. Yeah, the same. The same. Um, oh, I, their ordering is really interesting. They're doing all the twos and then all threes and then all the fours and then all the fives. Didn't even notice that before. I was like, something's something's new here. <laughs> all the courts. Nice. And they're doing one color for everything, which is interesting. So this is a cardistry deck, primarily. Man, look at that. The color on these is like... I really like this one. Ooh, this one feels good, too. Yeah, you can tell. See, when I do that with this, watch what happens. Um, watch. You see that? You see, like, right about here, how it, like... And I think it's the, uh, I think it's the ink. See that? Like right there, it's like starts to slow down. Um, it's a subtle thing, I know. I'm a stinker. But this one feels good. Anyways, let's keep doing this. Oh, oh, snap. Man, they look good on the mat, yo. They look good on the mat. Yeah, and these are like 16 bucks. I got this one of these for free recently from PlayingCardDecks.com. They have like a special. If you spend like $20, they'll send you one for free. And I was like, yeah. Um, good for... I want to see what that one... Like, that's one of those things where you open them back. You open them in like 10 years and you're like, how different are they? Oh, why do I even try? Like, does it look good? I can't tell. <laughs> to me, every fan looks bad. But I do. Man, they spring really good. They spring really good. They're smooth, man. All right, so that's the review for MakePlayingCards.com uh, fluorescent series. Uh, if, if you're on the fence on getting one of these, I recommend the orange one. The orange one feels the best. For, for me right now, anyways. Uh, but they're all cool. Um, but these two are probably the best. Anyways, that's the review. Thanks for watching. God bless all of you. And I will see you in the next video. Cheers!